Over the last three years, Marsha Caddo has cemented her place as a politician, not only in the constituency of St. Michael's South Central, which she represents, but also as a minister in the Mia Motley cabinet, responsible for economic affairs and investment. But with the calling of another election, a seasoned political foe in Richard Seely has emerged, and he says he's gunning for a second innings in Parliament after almost four years of reflection. Across the constituency, pockets of poverty where residents feel neglected. Some desperate for jobs, while others prefer handouts. But the common desire was the attention of a representative whose physical presence could be felt. I went to this woman, I'd be hungry, we have a job, when I mean hungry, hungry, you know, they more than four or five years I work. I drive a store. Which is really the better man. He come here, he see me doing my little gardening thing. You know what I'm saying? I tell you, well, I just fork now. Nah, ain't no money to get now nah, happening. He give me a little $50, send me down. Tell me to get some seeds and trails. I mean, I buy them and got them there soaking to get a hatch up. So, which is really like, the better man because most of the time he was around, he was helping people. You know what I mean? You were helping people marshal and doing nothing at all, yeah, Marshall. Mr. Seedy to me is a very good candidate to me because he comes around, he looks, he acts, he helps everybody to me. Don't care what, you just see Mr. Seedy all through the year. No, we don't see Marshall in this constituency. The only politician that we see in this constituency is Kurt Humphrey. So I would tell anybody, Kurt Humphrey got my back to the end and in order to give my support to him I would vote back for the BLP again. I haven't seen nobody from the DLP since last election so I don't expect that they can come back now and just jump in the race again and expect that everything going to be dandy. I'm glad to see Sealy back out because for the last 15 years Sealy bring a lot of positiveness to the constituency as far as getting things happen, sports was, culture world, culture wise, you know, a lot of different things. Do you consider yourself to be a supporter of the Democratic Labour Party? No. I'm a supporter of Richard Seeley. Right. So if Richard, Richard Seeley is a them and people feel it as a them, well that's up to them. We caught up with Richard Seeley at a spot known as Sandy's Shop in Carrington Village, where the political hopeful was mingling with residents. His commitment to public life, as strong as ever, he tells us. 2003, when I started, there were no public housing projects in St. Michael's South Central. But between the Valerie High Rise and Stewart's Lodge, we have, well, close to 180, well, just over 100. Uh, so, so, so I think that at that level as well, and, and of course, more importantly, uh, at the, the, the humanistic element, um, helping small businesses in quiet way, helping people to get work, natural gas in this community, we are in Alton Road, Carrington Village. Uh, uh, the, the, the question of representation, I, I think that there's a need for it to be taken back to the levels that people had grown accustomed to, and in fact, I maintain that having had the three, three, three and a half years to do some reflection, um, I can come back as an improved product. And I, I, I'm actually looking forward to the second innings, if you want me to use a cricket analogy. But a visit to Caddo's Carrington Village constituency office also unearthed a clear sense of familiarity with many constituents passing by on foot or in their vehicles. The young economist explained that her approach to representation touches on many grassroots issues like fixing roads, generating employment opportunities, responding to the impact of natural disasters and helping residents, particularly children through the pandemic disruptions. But it also focuses heavily on national policies that allow constituents to thrive, she says. A lot of what we were able to do to support households during COVID at the community level, we were able to do because we also had national policies, um, policies to support small business, for example, people whose small businesses were shut down, um, policies to, to support those in the tourism and hospitality sector that could then be matched by the things that we did on the ground. But perhaps the most visible evidence of her work in the constituency 
is the Constitution River Rehabilitation Project along with the Building Blocks Initiative. Projects done in collaboration with the Ministries of Tourism and Youth that will apparently create a commercial hub for residents. It's expected to be finished in March. I think that people know that I have done my best, that I've stayed connected. So I think that people have seen that effort with connection. People have seen um, the support, the help through COVID, the projects that we've got ongoing, um, support with access to employment. They've seen that. Uh, they, only they can tell you whether they feel that that is the kind of representation that they want. Come January 19th, the residents of St. Michael South Central will have their say when they cast their ballots in the general election. Until then, it's anyone's guess whether they'll opt to stay with cattle or buy into Sealy's. It's about you. Kareem Smith, for Barbados Today.